<laughs> well, welcome back. I think Kendall's, are you over fangirling? Are you still in the moment? <laughs> Hi, you're my favorite, and I love you, and I want to be you, and you're my girl crush, and okay, can I ask you a serious question? Shane's now? gonna ask all the questions because I can't do anything. That's okay. What a, great moments that we get to have this opportunity, right? It's I very know. real. And I'm relatable. so sorry, everybody. At Don't home. be sorry. Thank God you're here. <laughs> here, I'll, in fact, I'll take this. Thanks. Welcome back. Flowers are everywhere these days, including on the outside of a local shopping mall. Mm -hmm. The gallery on Edina is transformed into a giant floral installation with artwork both outside and inside. I took a trip to the gallery to see what it takes to create this massive display. I think this is so beautiful. Tell me why you guys decided this was the year you were going to do a big outdoor experience for everyone. And we were so disappointed, the Galleria team, when we found out that we couldn't host the floral experience again this year because of the pandemic. Yeah. So we wanted to come up with a way that we could still have the joy and happiness that the floral experience brings to people, but do it in a different way. So we decided to turn the show inside out. And it's so true though. I can understand why customers have asked you, did you actually paint the building, right? <laughs> no. No, no, it's temporary. It will be up through the summer. So we're looking at probably taking it down sometime in August. We had 152 panels installed and it took a little over two weeks. Right, because weather, right, like affected weather all Weather was this. a factor. We had the temperature just needed to be a certain degree, um, not too work. cold, not too hot, the but also, uh, right, right, <laughs> also not too wet. <laughs> you found the perfect artist. Lindsay made this. You guys found her and were like, you should do this. What, what made she you love her? Is, I, I think it's the nature of her work. It's, it represents um, joy, happiness, it's very colorful, and we liked the pop art element, um, something very unexpected that you could find at the Galleria. All right, let's go meet Lindsay, the artist. Lindsay, you made this, and have you ever done something on this scale where your art, known to be fun and hip and colorful, is on the side of a building this massive. This is definitely the biggest um, thing that I've ever done and it's been such a pleasure. Yeah, when the Galleria was like, hey, so you wanna make this giant floral beautiful thing for us? Did you, were you like, is this spam? <laughs> is this a real phone call? <laughs> a little bit at first because the Galleria is such a, an icon and it's near and dear to my heart and I love shopping, I love being at the mall. So it's kind of bringing both of my worlds together. So it was, yeah. A total spam call. A total spam that call. I picked up on. Honestly, like it would just be like, how did you find me? This is so neat. We're used to sort of seeing the floral side of things in the spring. This is all summer, but you also have like beads and smiley faces and like, is that a peppermint patty? The Galleria typically does an indoor floral experience in the spring, and since this past year or so has been anything but typical. Right. Um, they I wanted know, COVID. <laughs> yep. They wanted to shout it from the walls. Um, and I really wanted to bring some happiness to that experience. The mural itself is all about happiness and color and fun and all the essence of springtime, as well as mixing in a little bit of fashion for fun. You designed all of this. You drew it up, but not actually on the wall. I did not paint it. I know that a lot of people are very sacred when it comes to bricks and maintaining their authenticity. Right. Um, but what I actually did is designed it all first, laid it out in panels, and then a company came through and did the wraps and put it up. So it is removable, but it'll stay up through the summer. So people can enjoy it. Bam, bam, bam. So she and I talked afterwards. Um, so it, cool. A lot of us have driven by and seen this and we're like, what's going on there? I learned so much. I've driven by yeah. it so many times and every mm -hmm. time I'm like, it's so pretty. What's going on? So I thought it was really interesting. First, she took me to her favorite spot. I posted it on our um, Instagram page if you want to see it, but it's on the wall that's closest to France Avenue. Okay. Normally you don't go there because it's just sort of an exit entrance to the parking ramp. Sure. But if you walk on this little sliver, you can see a full wall behind you of artwork. So she was like, this is a really good place if you want a photo of your floral oh, true. pop experience. So right along France Avenue. Okay. That, I mean, it's safe because it's not on France. Right. But you know what wall I'm talking about. Um, but she also talked about how long it took to sort of piece everything together. Um, because yeah. think about it, you make it and then they put it up, they don't actually put it up, but they put it up in sort of their specs and then go, well, that one doesn't look very good with that wall over there that you can technically see from here. There's just so much that you don't think of 
that goes into something like that. So quite the feat. So impressed. Mm -hmm. And really cool to learn all that, like that it was a wrap. I had no idea. Right, it wasn't on the brick. It was painted, but it makes Don't a lot worry. of sense. Don't yeah. worry, everybody. Very, very cool. You can check out the display at the Galleria in Edina, of course. And like I said, uh, you can check it on their Instagram page, the Galleria Edina, I believe. They have an actual filter you can use too, which is oh, kind of like fun. Oh, like matches the, the stuff? Yeah, that goes with the, you can wear the head crown. So, and so creative. Check it out. Mm -hmm. All right, good job, Kendall. I've been wondering about it and now I know. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you. No, for real though. <laughs> I'm so happy, thanks.